Hey, John Cowan here with Ultra Realty. Folks, uh, I try to do these little videos each week uh, to kind of give you an idea as we are running what's going on in the market. So we are now at the midpoint of July and we are in hot July, red hot, and real estate is as well. So what I wanted to mention before we go into this weekend is some of the things that have happened during the week. So if we looked at the second half of this year, a lot of people are trying to project and say, what's going to happen in the second part of this year? I'm just going to talk about what's going to happen in real estate the second part of this year. And that's what the focus of this video is. Now, let me summarize with you and tell you what's going on for me just in the last 30 days. Several showings to buyers, several buyers who are working with lenders, trying to get things in order, ready to go forward. Multiple properties have closed, both buyers and sellers, in the last 30 days. So there is a lot of activity going on, not just for moi, but for all of us in the real estate world right now. Appraisers are busy, inspectors are busy, lenders are busy, and you might want to be busy as well. So let's talk about the outlook and what I think is going to happen and some experts who know a lot more than me. The outlook is extremely encouraging. So if we talk about the recovery in housing is happening faster than expected, that's what everyone is really shocked at. Mortgage rates, uh, it's all over the news. The mortgage rates are historical lows. So here's the projection for the rest of 2020 and actually into uh, 2021. We're going to probably average 3.5% over the next year and a half. Unbelievable opportunity. New construction. So I'm talking to builders. I'm showing their models. I'm looking at production inventory on the ground, talking about their new developments. Uh, there's a development up in Anna that's coming on board with 3,500 homes. Builders are moving as quickly as possible and it's not really quick enough. Why? Because they've had to gear back up after sitting still for two months. It's hard for a developer and a builder to do that. They were behind already, they're even further behind now. So I expect that new construction is going to accelerate significantly. Uh, the balance of this year and we're going to get back on track with them building literally as fast as they can. So if that happens, that will increase our inventory that we have to work with. So the new home inventory will give existing homeowners an option to sell their home and have a place to go, which then creates inventory for those who might be buying their first home or moving up and they want to buy an existing home. So this is how it all trickles down to supply and demand. Okay, so May sales. So here's what is amazing, okay, that everyone is fascinated with. When we were in our most severe lockdown in March and April with COVID-19, we were writing contracts at that point. And generally, there's about a 30-day lag between writing a contract and actually the sale, the closing, the money changing hands. May sales spiked so dramatically it blew everyone away. So we actually had activity going on in March and April, writing contracts that reflected in May. So if that was our most severe time point of the COVID-19 issue, and we don't, we're not locked down at the moment, Okay, can we expect things to continue to spike? Absolutely. So did June. June sales jumped 29% over May. So far for July, we are tracking at least what appears to be as strong as June. So bottom line, a summation, this is a wonderful time for us to look at doing something in real estate if it's the right time for you. If you were making plans in the spring, if you had intentions to pick up the phone and call and say, hey John, what's the inventory look like? Could we buy this year? What's the interest rates? What do the prices look like? But you put everything on pause. 
are you ready to maybe sit and have a conversation? I'm ready. I can tell you what I feel. I can tell you what other clients are doing right now with my listings and my sales with buyers and how many people are out there talking to lenders so they're going to be prepared in the next month, two, three. And if you are one of those possibilities, please pick up the phone and call me. You know, I've got a lot of different information uh, that you can go to my website. You can go to my YouTube channel and look at some of these videos. You can go to uh, the uh, Facebook page and look at information. I've got a blog on my website. So I'm trying to put as much information out there. And this is new for me, folks. So if you haven't seen my smiling face in a good while, and certainly not anything like this, bear with me. But this is what it's all about. I need to get my boots on the ground. I need to get as much inf information as I can out there for the folks who think that we're shut down still. And yes, we need to be safe. Yes, we need to be cautious. And yes, we need to follow all the, the social you know, recommendations that we need to do. But we're doing that. And we are buying and we are selling houses. So 214-697-1146, that's my number for over 25 years. And if you wanna to go to any other location here on my social media, please do so. Otherwise, I'm ready, are you ready? Thank you.